Well, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Black and Mary with kids. Happy Tuesday on Takeover Tuesday. This is Dunamis D. Pastor D. of Dunamis Woman Enterprise, LLC. I am the founder and our whole mission and our whole goal is to mentor, pray, spiritually coach women that they may experience the healing power of God, that their life and their legacy may continue to grow and develop because a lot of the things that we do, women, it begins with us. I know it starts off with the daddy, but we are the incubators. We are the womb bearers. We are the women who bring life into the earth. So I am so excited about being with you the day right before Independence Day, the day of declaring our independence and celebrating it. So I am just so excited to you because it's a freedom cry tonight. It's a freedom because guess what? As a black man or a black woman and united together in a marriage, we have come a long way and I'm so excited about what God is doing in our lives. Hey Rhonda, how are you? So glad that you joined me and all the other ones who've joined me. Um, first of all, before I even go into our topic tonight, you know, I just want to say that I am so grateful and thankful for um, Lamar and Ronnie Tyler to give this platform uh, to be able to speak to you all. I don't take it lightly because you all are magnificent. You all are a powerful audience. And so I'm always grateful for those who give an opportunity because people don't do things like this for you no more. So, and I don't take it lightly. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Rhonda. God bless you. Hey, Elaine. How are you? Just so glad you caught me live. So glad. Stay tuned. Stay here. Stay with me. Matter of fact, Rhonda, Elaine, all you powerful women, dunamis women, share it with another woman in your circle of influence. Guess what? Because like kind always attract like kind. And so I know that the topic for tonight is going to encourage you, empower you, and bless you immensely. And I have uh, some things that I want to share with you about this topic that it changed my life. And if it changed my life and, I'm, and for a whole lot of other women that I've been coaching over the years and over the decades, I know that it's going to change your life. So share this. Tell someone else to look at it live. Pastor D from Dunamis Woman right here on Black and Mary with Kids. Because the more we create this movement of empowering black women, the more we're going to see things happening in our life and in our legacy. So our topic for tonight um, is how does the woman, the woman, the woman continue to believe, continue to believe when the wife is challenged, when the wife is challenged? How many of you all as the wife has been challenged in your marriage, has been challenged in your life, has been challenged? I know every wife has been challenged. So if you could be honest with me tonight, honest with yourself, just say the wife has been challenged. The wife has been challenged. And I'm going to give you some strategies tonight. I'm going to give you some things that's going to empower you because when the wife is challenged, it comes to really diminish the power of who you are as the woman as the woman. So thank you, Juliet. Hello, how are you? Hey, Deborah. Hey, are you all? You all, I thank you for tuning in. I am Pastor D of, and founder of Dunamis Woman Enterprise. And I thank you because it's a freedom cry on tonight for the woman. It's a freedom cry. And I want you all to really, really go and look at what we're offering for the freedom cry, Dunamis Woman, because we're here to set the woman free, set the woman free. Thank you, Felicia, for, for, for admitting the wife has been challenged. I know I've been a wife and I've been challenged in so many ways, but when I'm sharing to you with you tonight and going to share, it's going to change your life. And I want your life to change. That's why it's a freedom. Are you all ready to be free? Are you really ready to be free? I want you, when this is over with, I want you to visit our website because we got a bundle packaged. Uh, I, I have bundled a package of tools that will empower the woman the woman to be free in areas of her soul in honor and celebration of 4th of July, the 4th of July, what we're here to celebrate. So I want you to go to that website, www.dunamis-woman.com. When I finish with this, because I want you to stay tuned and share with some other women because you're going to be empowered how the woman continue to believe 
when the wife is challenged. Thank you, Tamar. The wife has been challenged. Now, I want to do a little recap uh, with you all because are you all still understanding and being confident of what I'm talking about when I say the woman? The woman. You're ready to be free. I'm so glad you're ready to be free. The woman. The woman. I want the freedom of the woman. I want the woman to be free, not just a woman. See, when I've been talking about over the last few weeks, a woman versus the woman, you're no longer just a woman. You are specifically assigned to the man in your life, to the husband that you have. And if you are unmarried right now, you still have an assignment. Just hold on. He coming, you all. He coming, I promise you. But more you get prepared and the more you get built up, the more and closer you get to your destiny. So a woman is just a woman in general. You know, the man in your life probably could have had a whole lot of them if they, he wanted, but he chose you. And not only did the man in your life choose you, but guess what? God chose you for that man. You are unique in your own way. And so that freedom is so important. So you can know how to be free to be the woman that you are. So when the woman uh, continue, got to continue to believe, you got to believe that's what freedom is about being free to believe. Now I know the wife has a lot of roles and a lot of responsibilities, and I haven't even talked about the mother, but just the wife alone has so much that is required of her and expected of her. And she's been challenged because when the wife is being challenged, now the woman wants to give up. Oh, did you all hear what I said? When the wife has been challenged, it could, it diminishes her power in, 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 because the woman wants to give up. But what I want you to know is that the, in spite of what the wife is facing, are you with me, Debbie? Are you with me? In spite of what the wife is facing, the woman must continue to believe, believe that he is the man. Believe that you have the power. Believe that there's no other woman like you. Believe that your life and legacy is tied and attached to your umbilical cord. Believe. And that's where the power is. The power, the freedom, the liberty is in your belief. We have come too far not to continue to press towards what we know for our life and our legacy. So I want to I want a, a recap about the woman real quick. Okay, Deb, do you agree with me? I, I, I'm so excited because I know our freedom is here. And I know that this is right on time. This is why we have this bundle package for you called the Freedom Cry. OK, but I want to recap before I go more into down about the woman believing. I want to recap about the woman. I want to encourage you, Miriam. I want to encourage you, Debbie. I want to encourage you, the woman. I want you to know three things tonight so you can constantly walk in your confidence to believe. First of all, the woman embraces her uniqueness. As I stated, there's no other woman like you. I know that there's no other woman like D. I know that. I embrace my, embrace my uniqueness. And I want you to know that in your freedom is your uniqueness. Number two, the woman, not just a woman, the woman, she stands out amongst the most women. She stands out. See, it goes back to your uniqueness. If you don't understand your uniqueness, it will bind you. You will be placed in a bondage. Although we're celebrating our independence and, and things of, of who and where we've come from and how we are as a woman, but we have to walk in our liberty, in our freedom. And this is the cry, the freedom cry. And then the third thing, this is, this is, this is where it really, really, really the climax of it. The woman, the woman is confident in who who she is as opposed to what she have. I am confident, the woman is confident in who she is as opposed to what she has. You have to understand your power is within. And that's why I love being me because my freedom, and, and let me tell you something, 
I can embrace my uniqueness, but that don't mean everybody else can. Everybody who is not free, they have little issues with it, you know, and that's why as the wife, you have a real role and a responsibility for and to the husband God placed in your life. And if everybody don't understand you as the woman, you know they're not going to understand you as your wife. I don't even understand all about me as the woman. So as the wife, that's a whole nother aspect. But because you have so many roles and responsibilities and things to do for the husband and with the husband that God has assigned to you, it challenges you. And what is not challenging is not just challenging the wife, but really, if you think about it, it's challenging the woman. Because if the woman Stop focusing on who she is. She started looking at all the other things around her. First of all, it's going to put you back in bondage. Then you're not going to be liberated. And then you're going to end up giving up. And you're not going to have the endurance to go to the next level. Are you with me, Miriam? You know, you got to know that you, you are unique. And unique women stand out. Uh, in the crowd. It's something about you. Okay? So for the topic for tonight... I have a story I want to tell you all, because realistically, based upon what I'm saying, I want to share with you a personal story. And, and I had to really walk into this. OK, I was married and Pastor D, the wife. OK, I had many roles that I had to fulfill. My husband's mother passed and I was asked, true story, to eulogize her. OK, the wife as a pastor, being the woman that I am to not only him, but myself. I was asked to eulogize her. So many people were around. The place was packed. I didn't know who all was there, you all, because y'all know in black families, everybody come to the funeral. You know, somebody died. You don't see them for, I don't know, decades, but they come to the funeral. But this was not my mother. This was his. However, one of the, a woman was there and as I was working with the funeral director and we were preparing for the actual service, a woman, listen to what I'm saying, not the woman, a woman, she came and she knew me as the wife, but the a woman knew me as the wife. I didn't know her. So she came up to me and she, she stretched out her hand. Hello, my name is so-and-so, so-and-so. Come to find out that it was a woman who used to be with the man in the past before the woman came into his life. So a woman thought that she was going to intimidate the wife in the moment that I was being a pastor and the woman kicked in, okay? At that moment, I wasn't a woman, I wasn't the wife, I wasn't a pastor. I immediately had to shift gears and I had to understand who I was as the woman first, not just the wife, because the wife could have gotten disturbed. The wife could have gotten angry. The wife could have gotten uh, pissed off. OK, but immediately I began to recognize what was going on around me. See, this is why I like spiritual life coaching and I like spiritual things because spiritual forces are all around us. So because of my profession and who I am, I began to kick into this and say, okay, there's some spiritual forces here that wants to take me off the mark. So right there in that funeral with my mother-in-law right there lying in rest, okay, I could not allow myself to be less confident than who I was as the woman. This is a real story, you all. Right then and there, I shook her hand and I hugged her and I embraced her with a genuineness. Nothing perpetrating because when I recognized who she was, a woman who was trying to befriend my husband, a woman who was trying to step out with him, a woman who was trying to come in and destroy my, my legacy, okay? I embraced her and I hugged her and I loved her because I knew I was the woman. See, what I'm telling you all, this story is because this is real talk, okay? You cannot allow any woman, anything, anybody, to diminish 
your confidence in who you are. At instantaneously, I had to believe. Instantaneously, I had to ignite my power. It's called dunamis. See, this is why we have so many catty women out here scratching and fighting and making ourselves look all more crazy because we're not crazy. A confident woman is crazy within herself knowing I shall not be moved. How many people around me knew who she was and I didn't? Because remember, this was old people back in the day from his school years, people who knew all about me and things like that, but I didn't know. But I refuse to let anything and anyone make me disbelieve in the woman that I am. See, the wife was being challenged, but the woman stepped in and the woman can love another woman. The woman can love her man in spite of what's going on. The woman can stand up in her profession. And I eulogize my mother-in-law like nobody else was in that room, but me and her. I stepped into my profession because the woman had stepped into who she was and it allowed me to move forward in every other aspect of my life. Oh, I hope you all are really getting this. This is why I'm saying this is not just a topic. When you understand this and you learn how to embrace it. Now, I wouldn't have been able to do it if I had not have experienced a certain levels of emotional healing, which allowed me to be free. This is why when I put this bundle package together, I have put this package together for to equip you all, to equip you with everything that I'm telling you right now. I don't do this just to be doing it. I want every woman, black woman, to understand how powerful she really is. Challenges are going to come in life. Challenges are going to come to make you question yourself. Challenges are going to come to diminish your, your confidence. But when you invest in yourself and say, out of all that I have experienced in life, I'm going to be free. I'm going to get my confidence back. I'm going to hear what I need to hear from me. This bundle package that I want you to go to, visit that website, www.dunamis-woman.com. It will cause you to be free. For those of you all who just joined Juliet and all those I am D Collins, a.k.a. Pastor D, affectionately called by so many. I am the founder of Dunamis Woman Enterprise, and this is my mission for life to encourage, to empower, to mentor, to coach women that they may understand who they are to build their legacy for their life, for their relationships and to walk into everything that God has for them literally as they experience his healing power. And I'm so grateful for Lamar and Ronnie to have given me this opportunity because you all, you don't know how much people don't give nowadays because they're not free. When you are free, you don't have any type of problems of allowing and sharing. That's why I asked you all to share this post with some other women because you're free. When you're free, you want people to get the message. When you're free, you want people to learn what you've learned. When you're free, you want people to grow like you're growing. When you're free and confident in who, you're, who you are, whether you're a man or whether you're a woman, you have no drawbacks. You have no excuses. You have no inferiorities like, uh, should I do this? Uh, should I do that? I am free. And the more freedom I experience, I realize the more I have to invest in myself to maintain the freedom. Now, just because you're free don't mean freedom is free. Freedom costs you something. Freedom, you got to pay a price for it. How many women, our ancestors, women before us paid a price for us to be free like we are tonight. Come on now, think about it. Let's not stop this movement, you all, especially as black women. Let's share. Let's go. Let's 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 let everybody else hear the 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 freedom cry that's taking place so you as the woman will know who you are and walk in it. So when challenges come, just like I just told my story, that was a challenge for me. I wasn't expecting that. Come on now. But no matter when the challenges come instantaneously, you got to be ready. You got to be ready to walk in your woman. You got to be ready to walk as the woman. You got to be ready to stand up and be who God has required you to be 
and that's woe man, the womb of man. And boy, let me tell you, after I eulogized my mother-in-law, I went with the processional and I was gone to that cemetery and I took my husband's hand. Come on now, you y'all going to start something here. Because you know, the minister goes to the front of the line. Because I had officiated and because I had to also eulogize her and put her to rest, I took my husband's hand and I held my head up with confidence and I don't care because I knew a woman was in the midst. I could call it a witch. I knew a woman, not the woman, a woman was in the midst, but the woman stood up for her life. The woman stood up for her legacy. I didn't have no cat fights. I didn't have no anger. I didn't have no ill will. I had beauty on the inside and I had beauty on the outside. Oh Lord, I'll never forget that story because I... It was my responsibility as the woman to bring restoration and healing to my husband's heart in the midst of his loss, in the midst of his pain, and in the midst of his challenge. So ladies, before I go, I want to give you just three things real quick. How? How do we? How does the woman? How does this woman? How does this woman operate in this freedom? See, this is how does. Number one. The woman must be free to heal. You must be free to heal. You got to admit emotionally, I need healing. This is why in that freedom cry and in that bundle package that I have right there, when you go to the website, I have healing packages there that you can look at it and deal with it. So many women in Mighty Christian Women and who are a part of my coaching, they have dealt with and conquered abandonment issues, daddy issues, betrayal issues, so many issues that I am confident will heal your heart. Why? Because Pastor D didn't talk about that. Pastor D didn't teach about that. The woman taught about that. The woman, just like this story I shared with you. I got so many of them, you all, you wouldn't believe it, but it's in that bundle package. Number two, how does the woman the woman must be free to love, free to love. Do you know love is a choice? I don't, at that moment, I could have not felt any love for my husband. But when a woman stepped up to me, knowing she was stepping out with my husband, knowing she had befriended him since we had been married, knowing that she had probably been with him since we've been married, none of that stuff matter. Stuff come up and stuff go down. That don't matter to me. I stood in my position as the woman and I loved him. I still love. Love is a choice no matter how you feel. That's why you got to be free. And nothing in life is going to always be hunky-dory. But I am prepared to love when the challenges come. When the ch wife was challenged, the woman was free to love. That's why in this bundle package, I interviewed so many great men who can tell you and show you and they did teach us as women and that is available for you with that bundle package with this freedom cry. Jack, Jack Daniels, oh my God, he was great. Tony Gaskins, he was great. Now, y'all not going to believe one great man that was really great and he's in that bundle package. His name is Lamar Tyler. Now, y'all know you all on Black and Married with Kids, but in that bundle package of love, men talking to us and teaching us what a man needs for us to love them and how to love them. Lamar Tyler is in that package and he will blow your mind. I love Tony Gaskins, but he ain't got nothing on Lamar Tyler. I love Jack Daniels, but he ain't got nothing on Lamar Tyler. Get the bundle package of the Freedom Cry because the woman must be free to love at all times. And before I go for you tonight, so you can have a wonderful freedom day of 4th of July, the woman must be free to pray. You all, I'm not talking about praying, Lord bless us for no more. I'm not talking about, oh Lord, would you please do this? I'm talking about real prayer, the woman praying. Let me tell you something. Because I knew who I was as the woman, you could talk to my husband today and he'll tell you, he heard me literally cry out for a woman. 
a woman who stepped up to me, a woman who came to me. Matter of fact, I even asked him, would you please take me to her so I can talk to her so she can be healed? Because if she could step up to me, how many other wives is she stepping up to trying to prove herself to be better than? See, this is why we got a lot of infidelity. This is why we have a lot of betrayal. This is why we have, you got to be healed because betrayal come in all forms. But when the woman knows who she is, she's able to minister healing and she's able to pray walk in her authority and this is what in this bundle package called freedom cry that's housed right there on this website it will teach you as the woman how to not just get on your knees and pray but when you get up how to walk in the authority that God has given you. Do you know the wife has authority? Not just to sign his checks. Not to just wait for him to die and get his money. Not just to go and spend his credit card. Spiritually. This bundle package freedom cry will teach you literally. How to walk in the authority. Specifically for you. As the woman and the wife. Well, you all, I am excited about your future. I am excited about what's taking place. I am excited about your freedom. And I admonish you, go get the bundle package because it's a one-day sale for 4th of July. It, it will bless you, bless you, bless you. In the meantime, have a safe holiday. Enjoy, 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 enjoy being the woman that you are, and enjoy being that woman to everyone around you. I am Pastor D of Dunamis Woman Enterprise. Once again, thanks, Lamar and Ronnie. You all be blessed, and I will definitely hear from you soon. And don't forget, share this message with another woman. God bless you.